How to speed up your Mac while saving money by building your own fast external solid state drive. We need a Thunderbolt 3 expansion box, a solid state drive and an adapter card. A high performance solid state drive is a Samsung 970 EVO NVMe drive with 2TB of storage. In addition to the solid state drive for around 500 euros, we need an adapter card for around 16 euros to put it inside our expansion box. A small but capable expansion box is the Sonnet Echo Express SEL Thunderbolt 3 Edition box. You can get it for around 240 euros or 200 US dollar. It comes with a short USB 3 cable. When everything is finished, we can use the cable to connect the box to our Mac. Use a screwdriver to remove the feet and then slide off the cover. Once open, the box shows you its Thunderbolt electronics and an empty slot. This slot will be used for our card. A silent fan is there to cool our card. Now it's time to place our card onto the adapter board. Take a screwdriver and fix the card to the board. Be careful. Now the card can be put inside the box, the box can be closed and connected to our Mac by use of the Thunderbolt cable. Power up the box and the Mac and make some tests. I have different disks, one hard disk with a USB 3.0 interface which I use for archiving files. And using HAA System Test Lite, we can benchmark this disk. At the moment, you see in real time, you can see in real time the write performance. The disk is writing a 4 GB file. Uh, it's doing so uh, with 77 megabytes per second. If you want to know how many megabit these are, you have to multiply with 8. It's not slow but it for sure feels slow. Writing is usually slower than reading, so reading will be a little bit faster. Please enjoy the real-time video so you can compare the SSDs I will show you afterwards. They will be writing and reading the same file size, so everything you are seeing now will be much, much faster later. So like promised, read speed of this hard disk are, is around 110 megabytes per second. These are more than 800 megabit per second, so are near the theoretical limit of a gigabit Ethernet connection. So it's not really slow, it's actually rather fast for a small portable USB 3 drive. Actually the interface speed is 5 gigabit per second. So there are some speed left and we can try to accelerate this interface by using a Samsung portable SSD T3 with one terabyte space and using this disk which is also connected by USB 3.0 we get write speeds around 230 megabytes per second. I have to uh, explain that I'm using Apple file system with encrypted, with encryption activated. This slows down performance a little bit and read speed around 330 megabytes per second. Actually the 5 gigabit USB 3 connection is not separated, but this little drive is much faster than the hard disk and it feels nice to use. The next drive is a um, Samsung Evo 850 a SATA drive connected to the eSATA port of a CalDigit TS3 Thunderbolt 3 docking station. The interface speed is 6 gigabits per second. 
and you see we get write speeds and read speeds around 300 or 400 megabytes per second. At good days uh, you can get 500 megabytes per second read and write, but in real life encrypted mode that's usually less. Now let's use uh, an external USB 3.1 generation 2 drive. It's the SunDisk Extreme 900. It writes around 600 megabytes per second and reads around 800 megabytes per second. It feels like double the speed because it uses internally the two SSDs connected by RAID 0. Now let's go to our home build solution. The NVMe drive is writing more than one thousand megabytes per second and reading nearly two thousand megabytes per second. Compared with all drives used in this test, you can see it's much, much faster.